For this video, we're gonna focus on kind of exploring the data, at least with respect to continuous variables, because that's one of the first steps that you would wanna do in any type of statistical analysis once you've got your, your data already brought in. So I'm gonna bring in our two data sets uh, that I'm gonna be working on here. So there's one and I ran it and then I'm gonna bring in the second one. So I'm clicking on the second one, it's coming up. I've gotta hit the run button to bring it in. So now I've got both data sets brought in. Now SAS Studio, if I were to click over here on task and utilities, allows me to go down to a variety of tasks. Now, yours may not have already been open at that. It may have just kind of stopped right here. So we're gonna use eventually the SAS program, but for now, task. And then we've got data, graph, map, and statistics. These are all different types of things that we can use. And these tools are really helpful because some of these basic commands are actually sometimes some of the harder things to actually grasp on traditional SAS. So SAS Studio makes it a lot easier. But summary statistics is going to be our first focus. So um, our first file that was imported, work.import, is the uh, eSIG datasets preventive medicine reports. Now I've got it zoomed in right now, so if I were to zoom out, more of it will show up more easily. I'm gonna hit plus, and we're gonna look first at the, um, let's see, what variables do I have in here that might be of interest from a continuous standpoint. I've got a variable here called age. So I'm gonna go ahead and click age. And when I click on age, and this is from our, um, you know, when I look at these variables, let me add one more. These are all actually, um, when I uploaded this in here, this work.import uh, is associated with the Kenya data state 11. So when I click on summary statistics and age, it pulls up this uh, code here that says PROC means, which stands for procedure means, it's pulling it from the work.import data file. And then here are the different options for PROC means that are turned on that are so the kind of the command that we're interested in here is in the navy blue and then the bright blue or the regular blue we see the different options associated with that command and then on the second line it's asking for the variable which is age we can do multiple variables if we're interested but i can't alter this when i'm using this particular uh, feature of summary statistics from the task in our drop down now it's got the command there. All I have to do is now hit the running running man button up there and it goes ahead and it produces those for us. We may be interested in looking at variables by a categorical or a class variable. So we've got a mean age of 22.9627 years for people that were in our Kenya drinking water, you know, Western Kenya drinking water study. So when we look at some of the other factors, we might be interested in looking at the mean age of the people that reported diarrhea in the last 28 days, or the 28 days prior to us doing the survey. So any diarrhea in the 28 days, that's a classification variable coded as a zero or a one. And when I add that in there, we can see that here, now I just clicked on from results to code and I had just added that in there. You can watch the code change. If I delete that, the code changed. I'm gonna add, add it back in there, diarrhea 28 as a class variable, it's in there. So the whole command is right there. I'm gonna copy this, by the way, for another reason here in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and run it so you can see what happens. So when I run it, it gives us the mean age for those without diarrhea and the mean age for those with diarrhea, as, long, as well as the standard deviation, the minimum, and the maximum. Now you might be interested in having other things in there like 
you know, what's the standard error, what's the distribution, what's the kurtosis, those types of things. So there's a lot of, of other things you may be interested in. So I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. So we're still working here with work.import. Now, if I were to click here on, not necessarily that, but I'm gonna do utilities, SAS program. This is like traditional SAS here now. Like this is traditional program. And I'm gonna hit paste because I copied that command. And here is the command that I copied. Okay, so you see proc means data equals work.import. And I'm gonna run it just so you can see that this command still works all by itself. See, it did it all on its own you know, without the, the help of the uh, dropdowns. I just copied the, the command. Now, there are a variety of SAS tutorials that are out there. Here's one of them that has a command for looking at histograms, or, uh, kurtosis, um, shapiro Wilk test is built into this. So I'm gonna click on this particular command here and go over to SAS Studio. I have to be under code. And then from the code, I'm gonna paste this command in there the way I just copied. Now I'm gonna delete all this stuff up here because I don't want that code anymore. I don't need it. If I left that code in there, it would end up, well, I can go ahead and leave it in there for your own good. Well, I'll show that to you in a second. But anyways, here is the command, proc univariate. And then here are all of the options. We're gonna do normal, we're gonna do a histogram plot, I believe, or a plot of the data. Here is the one kicker, data equals example. Well, we don't have, our data isn't saved as an example. Our data are work.import. And I also have import one, import two from some other um, previous things I've brought in there. but. This one, work.import, and it could potentially also be in all caps. We can leave it there. It's in many cases very sensitive to the, the um, style that the variable is. I'm gonna leave it like that for now um, because I think my age variable needs to be lowercase. Um, so that one's uppercase, but it may be okay. So we'll try it. So it's trying to run it. If it's got any errors, it's gonna flag it with red text. So I'm not, there's the result. So it recognized the age as a lowercase variable. So everything um, from proc univariate is all there. Everything we need is all there. And it's also got two different types of histograms and distributions that are out here. So you can see the normal line there and see that this doesn't really seem to fit that very well. There's the traditional bell curve. Doesn't really fit the bell curve too nicely. It goes ahead and runs the Kolmogorov Smirnov test. Dr. Kleiser used to refer to that as the vodka test. Um, there's different reasons for why you may use these different, you know, normality tests. Um, the uh, Shapiro Wilk test is an option that often comes up too. So I'm trying to figure out where that one may have went, because usually it's included. There it is, right here. Shapiro dash Wilk. And then you can see the W value is 0 0.90. So it's way below 0 0.99, way below one, and significantly different from normal in that case. So um, just letting you see kind of the, the tools that are there, um, all from, this particular code. Now, if we ever were to have a mistake in our code, say I forget this. Now suddenly our title option has turned to this weird color, like a variable text color. So that means there's a problem. I can go ahead and try to run it so you can see what happens with the text. So what happens? We get all this blue stuff about the procedure stopping and here's where the error is at. Something is wrong and it gives us all these different things 
the option of the parameter is not recognized and will be ignored. So the problem is right there. I did not, I took that semicolon. So after each little semicolon, you know, we've got these different options and these options are separated by these semicolons. I can change these titles to include my initials. I can change the footnote to include my initials and I can run it. I can also add other things. So remember from uh, earlier, I had on this summary stats code right here, proc means, I can jam that in this thing too. So I'm gonna go over to program one. I'm gonna add this in there as well. So all of this, I'm gonna get, you can only, I only want one run statement. So, so it's got this kind of command here. It's also got this one here. All this is one set of code. Theoretically, you could have your whole homework in one code if it's for like one data set and just run it all at once and it'll do everything you want it to do. And you could, you know, so I'm gonna run this so you can get that experience seeing it, seeing what happens. So it'll give us everything that we asked for before, obviously, and it'll also give us the, the proc means. So it gives us the proc univariate, which includes all the stuff that we're interested in. It also gives us these plots. And at the very bottom, let's see, somewhere I thought it would give us our proc, our proc means, but maybe it only ran one of them. Or I had an extra run command, let's see. Well, there's our problem right there. Let's see. I'm gonna hit run on that. Enter. There we go. Let's try this again. Behind each uh, procedure. Well, that's our actual proc means anyway. So it was already there. So proc univariate example, and we've already got it right there. So that's our class variable. So everything is there. It may have been there earlier. So easy enough. This is uh, not too bad, actually. You know, SAS Studio has um, made life a lot easier um, for those who are not regular SAS users. So if you need to get normality statistics, this is an easy way to do it. Um, if you need to stay on here for another uh, minute, I'll, I'll do another example. Um, we've got a different type of uh, data set here. So let's go over to uh task utilities i'm going to switch to statistics summary statistics and then we're going to switch to work import one i'm going to look at the age distribution of a, a new age of the people in our e-cigarette study classification variables we'll look at the people who have ever used e-cigarettes in the last 30 days we can run this the running man button and it will give us our output so the mean age of the never use e-cigarettes in the last 30 days is 20 the mean age of the ever used e-cigarettes in the last 30 days was 19.7 so a little bit younger later on we can compare those now, if we were to want to um, manually do that with code, right? If we were to manually want to do that with code, I can copy and paste this, um, you know, if you really felt the need to do it. The other thing is, is I want to go over here to program one. I'm going to pull off the code here from program one, and I'm going to copy this proc univariate command all right, and 
and I'm going to delete all this actually. I'm gonna actually paste it, but now I'm gonna change this to import, the dot import one. And the variable is called new age. So import one is the one that's associated with the e-cigarettes. And histogram, I wanna do the histogram for new age. So I'm gonna go ahead and run that so we're just running just the straight, straight up code and seeing how it does. And the major difference was the variable name was different. It was new age and the data set was not work.import here. It's work.import1, which is the data set that was unique to the e-cigarette data set. And we've got, you know, different data here, obviously heavily skewed towards you know, uh, the side that's got, we've got a lot more young kids, um, when I say young kids, you know, young college students, a lot more freshmen, sophomores, and juniors in these uh, gen ed classes, and their ages are reflective of that. So definitely not a normal distribution in age by any means. W values way below 0.99 for the Shapiro-Wilk test. P value is less than 0.001. You can also look at the kurtosis and the skewness and see that they also don't reflect that. So that is a little introduction into summary sats with SAS Studio as well as how to get normal or normality test type statistics out of using the code driven approach with SAS Studio. So hopefully that was helpful and uh, we'll continue on other types of tests here in the next few videos.